Good morning, everyone. So today I will be covering a new topic, the ASQL CQA certification. Uh, I will be going through the what all needs to be done to get a CQA certification. I will be covering the key exam requirements here. Then about a little bit about the fee structure we have, some important tips, and probably uh, what are the distribution of the questions we have for then some books which you can refer during for the preparation and some your important ex last minute exam tips so let's begin the today's topic so i have received some request from one of my subscriber technical gyan uh, where he is saying that please upload some more details uh, about the cqe exam preparation so probably this video will help him and when other guys who are planning to go for a CQ certification in the near future do let me know your views and if you still have any queries regarding the CQ certification just comment below and I will try to answer those questions so starting with the ASQ CQ what it, it is all about so this is one of the oldest exams offered by ASQ and it is very it is not very easy to get it through it is being said to be one of the toughest exam to pass by asq each certification candidate is required to basically pass to go through the multiple choice questions that measures comprehension of the body of the knowledge offered by asq uh, there are some key exam requirements uh, to get this cqv certification first of all so the first requirement is that uh, the asq basically requires you to have eight years of on the job experience in any of the areas mentioned in the cq body of knowledge you can get this cq body of knowledge uh, on the asq website link our asq gives you a small waiver in terms of experience based on your education level for example, if you are an associate degree, you can get will get two years of waiver. If you are a bachelor's degree in say for BTEC or a, a BC or MCA, sorry BTEC, and you have four years and, and you have a postgraduate like MBA or a MCA, you can have five years of this waiver. For the requirement two, uh, it says like three years of your experience must be in the decision making role. This is critical also. Requirement 3 says that work experience must be in full time paid role and things like internship, which cannot be applied towards the work experience and requirement. So it has to be full time and no part time will be uh, entertained in this case. Talking about the fee structure, uh, the actual fees of CQ certification is $419. Though if you are a member of the ASQ, which will already become and you will pay this fees. So the membership fees will then be reduced to $269. That is a one time fees that you have to pay. And then you can uh, probably go on and uh, add on a few more certifications later on. But for the first time, you have to pay. If you, this is the first certification you are planning, you have to pay $419. Some important information to the exams. This is a computer based exam. First of all, uh, you have around 175 questions, approximate time around five and a half hours to get this 175 questions right. Though the CQ uh, has around 160 questions which they evaluate for results. 15 are not evaluated out of 175. Those are those questions which they uh, use it for their uh, just for their in reference only. So you will not get to know which are those 15 questions. So you will evaluate it out of 160 questions. This is the open book type exam. There will be no sectional cutoff and there is no negative marking. Uh, I think it is offered in multiple languages this exam so you can just uh, if you are uh, comfortable in English, Spanish or any other language you can opt for that. Each participant can bring his own reference material that's okay with them. 
but the condition is that it does not should not have any question or answers in that it should only be the reference material just for reading purpose nothing from the questions and the answers point of view you can use scientific calculators without without memory i have displayed some few examples of calculator which you can carry with you to the exam center then the, i'm talking about the industries where this certification will help you out automotive biomedical construction engineering lot of industries where this certification is valued all over the world the average pass rate of, of this certification is around 65% that means out of 100 participants 65 get it through but it is said to be as one of the toughest exams so if you are planning to uh, see get it through I would suggest you to out of 160 question, you should attempt at least 130 correct to get it through. Your cutoff limit should be 130. If you are in a mock test, if you are getting less than 130 correct, then I would say you we are on the borderline of crossing or passing or failing the CQ certification. You should always target to achieve at least 130, 35 questions right. to have a chance of clearing the cq certification some of the questions which are distribution distributed over that different topics i would say so there are actually six seven topics and the questions are distributed accordingly if you look at the first three topics management and leadership the quality system and the product and process design they constitute of around 25% of their questions and the rest constitute of around 75% of the questions most important topics out of these which which in which we will get numerical questions consist of your quantitative methods and tools continuous improvement and the process and process controls some books which you can refer for the exams one is your the first one on the left is the certified quality engineer book which is the your handbook this book will uh, i would say cover the entire topics that could come on that exam but it will not cover the depth of the topic this has list, list of all the topics which you can expect in a cq exam but if you want to have a detailed understanding of the topics and then you need to refer to other books like cq primer then there is cq uh, solutions and questions from the previous years then the last thing is the google you have to refer to each and every topic mentioned in the cq book on the google go through multiple top uh, books as many books as you can solve as many uh, papers previous years papers mock papers i would say as can and see if you are getting at least 135 questions right within the within a time frame of 5 hours then only go for this exam otherwise there is no point sitting in this exam wasting so much of money other thing you have to subscribe to this youtube channel to keep yourself updated because i will be most of the videos on my channel are related to quality and six sigma so these videos will help you somehow clear your some of the concepts and i have posted some questions previous questions on the cqv so you can also go through those two part one and part two as well some important last minute exam tips uh first of all don't panic uh, i would say this is normal exam but you can carry your reference material what you have prepared throughout the year or over your time you can carry these books as well but provided that you should not have any questions and answers mentioned in that you can carry a calculator with you without memory of course that's uh, that is all I have just be focus on what you trying to achieve here and there's those five words you have to have some proper sleep just night before the exam otherwise your exam will not you will not feel fresh at least try to have at least 8 to 9 hours of sleep before the exam don't overeat 
on the day of exam otherwise you will not feel comfortable over there have a good good positive thinking about uh, that you will be able to get it through this exam keep distractions at the minimum reach the center at least i would say 30 to 45 minutes before the scheduled time because so as to get used to the environment where you have to sit for five hours carry all the documents with you including calculators and last but not the least the average time you should spend on each question should not be more than 90 seconds try to attempt the questions which are simpler to simpler first of all which are easy which you can solve within one minute or maybe 30 seconds just by looking at the question then slowly and steadily move to questions which are a little bit tough and then to the numerical parts that is a strategy which i uh, applied and it worked so that's all good luck for your exam all the best and do let me know if you able to get it through through cq certification if you need any help do let me know do comment and do subscribe to my youtube channel thank you so that's all i have for this session i hope you like my video and in, in case if you like please do comment share subscribe and like and do let me know your views and before going please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and do hit the bell icon for all the latest updates on my channel thank you see you again bye